Yep, here it comes. That is a very welcome sight when you've had a pretty cold night. Yeah, hello sunshine. Ooh, boy, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, so there's sort of transitions that you have to make when you're living in a bivy bag because it's so much uh, smaller than a Durban bag. I mean, just look at it, it's tiny. Uh, you have to leave a lot of stuff outside, like you don't have room for a mat and yourself and your stuff in there. So there's things outside, but it is much lighter. Uh, and you need to make transitions from the sort of sleeping bag laying down to standing up. So I usually put my boots just here. In fact, I put them that way around when I'm uh, getting ready. So the boots usually live inside of the um, inside a bivy bag at the side. But so when I'm transitioning from lying down to getting up, I put them out there like that, and I pick up my trekking stick because you're going to be standing on a wobbly mattress if you have an inflatable mattress. And then you just pick that up, step straight into the boots, and you're good. And getting out is just pretty much the same. But it's certainly a lot more uh, smaller living. Let's say then with the driven bag. But it's neat. I like this camo that it has as well. Fits in the landscape pretty good. And I'm getting some sunshine. Oh, nice to have sunshine. Mm -hmm. So I had this uh, tarp. Oh, look here. Hello. Uh -huh. I had this tarp set up so that at any notice. I could just uh, fold it over my bivy bag so if for some obscure reason we had a howler coming down from here, which can happen, I mean, whatever, you know, you're in the mountains, weird stuff happens, so it's good to actually have prepared a bomb-proof shelter, like a, it has to be a wind wedge basically, and this is all on rocks, here you can see very stable anchors here uh, all this is a six millimeter climbing cord and I've anchored this uh, very strong poncho tarp already so that all I would have to do if it started to howl is to take that pole stick it in the loop that I made for it pull it over throw the heavy rocks down here which are already gathered and just tie it off same on the other side because just sometimes it gets weird with the weather and you think yeah you know it's fine and I want to look at the stars of course you want to look at the stars but yeah it's kind of unforgiving in here you need to a little bit know what you're doing but tell you what Oh, it's nice to see the sun. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm going to go brew myself some coffee. Then maybe I'll think about going up there. Or maybe I'll scout around this valley a little bit because it's really pretty awesome. Look at all this lovely stuff here. Maybe I'll go down and have a look at that lake. Don't know. I'm going to do whatever I feel like doing, in fact. That's kind of the point up here. Yeah, I like that. 